Hello, my name is Shay Johnson, and along with my co-founder, Janae Moxie, I would like to present our social enterprise, Magic. Have you ever felt counted out before you even had a chance to try? Have you ever had a dream denied before you could even attempt to achieve it? Can you imagine a child being made to feel this way? Well, for millions of girls of color, no imagination is required. This is their daily lived experience. Magic is a social enterprise with the purpose to empower young girls of color to know that they can achieve their dreams, even in a world that tells them that they can't. This purpose is personal to each of us Magic co-founders because growing up as young girls of color, we lacked the readily accessible media content, products, and imagery that accurately depicted the large spectrum of successful women of color. On top of all that, Throughout our lives, we're always told what we can't do. For example, for my second grade teacher, without testing, you can't be in the gifted program. I don't think it's the right fit for you. For my high school classmate, you can't get into Vanderbilt without affirmative action. By the way, I did. Instead, I chose to attend Spelman College. From mass media, you can't wear red lipstick with your dark skin. Oh. And don't forget, you can't wear your natural hair in the workplace. These can'ts are only part of the problem. In fact, they're just the beginning. Women of color, especially Black and Latino women, are grossly underrepresented in high-wage professional careers. For example, as a percentage of the entire profession, Black women represent less than 6% of lawyers, less than 4% of physicians, and approximately 1% of architects. This is only a snapshot of their disproportionate representation across countless professions. This underrepresentation is devastating for communities of color because women of color are increasingly the sole or primary breadwinners of their family. For example, in black households, over 50% of these households are led by women, and over and about 50% of Latina households are headed up by Latina women. The race gender wealth gap is astounding. Over $434,000 of lost wages accrue to women of color over their working lifetime. The resulting race gender wealth gap is devastating. Working women of color ages 35 through 49 have a median savings of only $5. You heard that right, $5. Compare that to white women who have $42,600 in median savings and white men who have $70,030 in median savings of the same age group. So how do we change all of this? With magic or maximizing achievement for girls and careers. We believe that by closing the education and opportunity gaps, we can combat the bigger problem of the race, gender, wage, and wealth gaps. More specifically, if we provide girls of color ages five through nine with an interconnected series of directly relatable doll, book, and activity sets across a spectrum of careers, we will shift the paradigm from gross underrepresentation of professional women of color to one that maximizes their representation by igniting empowerment and achievement from a young age through career awareness, skill exploration and acquisition, and positive self-image building. Our introductory product line, the Magic Maker Box, will provide girls of color with mentorship, affirmation, and achievement, all in a curated box. But what's so magical about these products? Our products are curated by women of color for girls of color, and this is built directly into our supply chain. We will employ illustrators and authors of color that will engage in personal perspective-driven creation. By having women of color produce our content, we will ensure that our products are authentic and culturally accurate. The Magic Maker line will lay the foundation for future academic and professional achievement by amplifying reading proficiency and other skills to build the bridge to more complex learning. So let's go into more depth about each of these components. The first prong of our Magic Maker line is the starter box. This will include two introductory books, one on careers and one on self-image. It will also include a directly relatable doll that I will detail later. It will also include a casual doll outfit for the doll and three role model cards. So here's what we're talking about when we say direct relatability. Our doll design epitomizes what we talk about here. 
As you can see, our dolls have realistic facial features and skin tones that are truly reflective of the girls that will play with them. In our design, you can see a broader nose, higher cheekbones, and fuller lips, for example. Our doll is representative of what all of our directly replatable products will look like. I know that I wished when I was younger that I had dolls and books that looked more like me. It may seem simple, but being able to truly see yourself in a doll or book makes you feel as though you're not overlooked or excluded and that you truly matter and are beautiful. Next, we have more designs that you can see here with a plethora of skin tones that represent the breadth and depth where we will show the races and ethnicities that we will feature in our line. The second prong of our Magic Maker line is the Career Box, which has four included components and one optional component centered around a career theme. So let's take the Illustrator Box, for example. The Illustrator Box will include a fictional book that chronicles an illustrator of color and shows what her career entails. Each career box will always include a self-image book, which will talk about sensitive topics such as skin tone, hair textures, and insecurities about weight. Third, it will include a doll outfit for an illustrator. And fourth, it will include three role model cards that will spotlight women of color that are illustrators. The optional component is an activity set in which the user of the box will be able to practice skills related to becoming an illustrator. For example, a sketchbook, a template for a storybook that can be illustrated, and art supplies. Now, I would like to bring on my co-founder, Janae Moxie, so that she can discuss the third prong. Thank you, Shay. The third prong of the Magic Maker line is our Purchase for Purpose, Purchase for Purpose program and our Share the Magic program. We want to maximize the access to the promise of our products, so we've implemented Purchase for Purpose. For every four purchases of a Magic Maker box, we'll provide a free box to another girl in need. But we want to do more than just give girls free products. We want to ensure that we serve immediate needs while simultaneously addressing the need for long-term systemic change. In that vein, we'll combine giving with substantive personal engagement through our Share the Magic program. The Magic team will strategically partner with local community organizations to both distribute products and host complementary programming that engages girls through in-person interactions with our network of professional women of color. But now let's talk about business and the competition. The toy and book industries have yet to significantly adapt their products to the reality of an increasingly multicultural America. Despite the fact that children of color comprise more than 50% of the population under age nine, Children's products and dolls and books in particular still cater almost entirely to white youth. It's not that these industries are asleep at the wheel when it comes to capitalizing on the multicultural market. It's that they lack multicultural drivers. And this reality exemplifies the very problem that we aim to solve. Magic sits at the intersection of several areas that are currently underserving girls of color. The first is directly relatable dolls. Right now, either dolls are not authentic in their representation of girls of color, or they're just too expensive. The second is books with minority protagonists. There just aren't enough of them. During my time working at a library before I went to law school, kids of color would always come up to me asking for books of people of color in them, but there just weren't any to give them. There were far more books about animals than there were about people of color, and that's a problem. Next is career-focused materials. Companies like Goldie Box are doing a great job of entering these markets, but these materials still aren't directed to girls of color. And last, purchase for purpose. Tom's and Warby Parker have great one-for-one -one models, but this model hasn't been extended into children's products, and it's often not combined with substantive personal engagement. Again, Magic falls at the intersection of all of these areas to provide the best products to meet the needs of our consumers and beneficiaries. So next, we have the markets that we'll target. So we're going to generate steady and gradually increasing cash flow by tapping into three vertical markets. The multicultural market. First, consumers of color are a great and growing population. Black buying power has increased by 86% and Latina buying power by 155% since 2000. Magic sits at a great position to capitalize on these market changes and capitalize on this multi-trillion dollar market. Next, books and toys. This is a $19.6 billion industry and we plan to tap into it. And lastly, education. We plan to tap into this by combining with and working with local school districts to get our products into the hands of underserved girls of color. Next. Let me tell you about the Magic Team. 
we are all college graduates. Three of us are alumni of Spelman College. Three of us are Harvard Law School educated. One of us is a PhD in interdisciplinary studies. But most importantly, all of us are dedicated to magic's purpose. And looking forward, magic is in a great position to <laughs> capitalize on the future. We're going to extend into uh, more ethnicities and more career lines along with our online platform, which will include the Magic Marketplace and a clearinghouse for our artists and illustrators of colors. We also plan to establish magic camps, magic stores, and in-person magic programming. We envision a world with magic to be drastically different. In a world where girls are told that they can, we leap from our backyard into the dance studio. From doodling to fashion design. From painting on the living room floor to seeing our own art in a gallery. From playing around with beats to producing our first albums. From taking our first Polaroids to juggling multiple photo shoots. And ultimately finding the confidence within to go out and conquer the world, no matter what it says we can't do. A world with magic is a world without boundaries for girls and women of color. Thank, Thank you. you.